All right, so some people have been asking about the spell icons and how you can change your display, because some people have, like, Bone Star has the uh, dark overlay. Uh, this is the default, for example. The skills is like this. Here's all our original spell icons, etc., etc., okay? Uh, now, what you can do, uh, I'll link this in the description as well, but there is a guy or girl named Corvio Orbio. I don't know. I'm saying your name wrong, I'm sure. I'm sorry. But anyway, you have a post here about UO art mods, okay? And it basically, you've created all these different icons and spell icons and graphics and things like that. And it looks like UO um, Outlands has actually incorporated some of these as options dynamically in the game. You can run this on any uh, classic client. However, the newer images won't work on Outlands, right? Because they control the, the files that get loaded. Uh, but if you play a different server, then you can follow his instructions here on how to actually get that in there. So what's nice about this though, is you literally have like a little download Gump Override link here. We can either head over to his actual GitHub link. If I open this in a new tab, this is the GitHub link. This is the repository for everything. We'll cover this in a second. But let's assume you just went here and you click download Gump Override. So if I click this, I'm gonna go ahead and download a, a zip file, okay? And there's this Gump Overrides folder. And what we wanna do is we could just copy that and then we're gonna browse to the game. It is C Games UO Outlands. Click. And then what we can do is just paste it right in there. Boom, paste, control V. And basically what we did is we made the Gump Overrides folder in our root game. Uh, and then it just has all these little files and folders in here, okay? And these are all the different spell icons. So now what happens is if we leave the game and then we enter Outlands, they didn't change. If we quit the game and then play again, now when we log in, we have the new overlay, okay? So it's, it updated our status bar, it updated the skills, and it updated these other things. You might say, hey, Jason, I didn't want all of that. How do I fix it? Well, that's when you come in here and you just basically want to remove the things you don't want to change, okay? So for example, this dark scroll here, you would get rid of the dark scroll. If you don't like the dark background, you would get rid of it. But let's say you actually wanted to change it a little bit. That's what we're going to get into next. All right, so along the lines of like making an edit, right? Like this, this scroll to me is too dark. Okay, I can't see, I'm blind. I don't know how anybody can read this. Let's say I want skills to say something different, right? So if I want to be crafty, I would go over to my Gump Overroads, Gump, oh, my Gump Overroads file, and then I would search for skills. So skills is right here. It's actually this zero, you know, zero X eight three four dot BMP. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take Photoshop. I'm going to say file. I'm going to say open. And we're going to go ahead and grab that. We're going to we're going to grab that out of here. So games, Ultima Online Outlands, uh, and then it was Gump Overrides. And then it looked like OX8 something something. So skills right here. Again, I'm not an editor. I don't know anything about it, but let's just assume that I want this to say something different. So I'm going to zoom in and then we'll just double click to get this actually changed. And I'm going to click new and I'm going to delete this layer here. Boom. We're going to paint it black because that's how it makes it transparent. And then I'm just going to hit T in the keyboard. I'm going to say JSONs. We're not going to use a black color. We're going to use a blue color, like maybe Hue 88. I don't know what actually Hue 88 is. Anyway, so as you can see, I just put it in there and I'm going to click file and then I'm going to set uh, save. Okay, and this wants me to save as a PSD file. So I'm not actually going to save it because this is beyond the scope of the course. But we're going to say export quick PNG. And basically, we're just going to name it as a PNG and I'm going to hit save. And so the original file, if we go back over here to the Gump Overrides, there's a BMP and a PNG. Let's see what loads by default. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the game. And then we're going to rerun this. And it's like, oh shit, bro, you broke. Now, why is that? It's because we have two Gumps of the same thing. So I'm just going to rename this Gump with an X. I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but that's what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to close that air. We're going to rerun this. Play. Sure enough, it loaded up. And now it says JSONs on my scroll. I mean, that's cool, Jace, but what about the source files? But they also included any of the art files inside of the GitHub. So links will be in the description. For us on Outlands, we would go to the UI folder. And then this is where all the Gump overrides are being stored. This is basically what we put on our folder. But from here, you can actually open up the different things that he has. Uh, so for example, the UI magic spells. These are all the different spells, okay? And he even included the, the PSD files. Now there's some bat files here that actually turns the, P, uh, the PSDs into B, BMPs. 
I'm not that familiar with all that. Hopefully you guys are. I did download all this, and if I go over to the main mods, and I go to UI, and then I go to something like Magic Spells, and then I open the Earthquake PSD, this is what shows up. And, uh, sorry if you can't see, let me move my face here. But anyway, he they, they used a bunch of different layers to make this pretty. So if you keep undoing the layers, you can kind of see how we got started. And a bunch of different options here, okay? So, anyway... In theory, if you save this and then run the bat, I'm assuming it regenerates the file. The other thing you could also do is just export directly. I'll let you guys figure out how you want to edit it. I'm not actually going to do that, but hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments below if you are happy, sad, glad, mad. All right, I mentioned that you can see some of those new icons in the game. So we can't change the icons necessarily. We can only change the gump overrides. But if you want to see the new icons, just hit Alt-O. Then you go to Interface, and then there's some options down here. New regs, new gems. Anyway, be sure to check that out. All O, interface, new gems, new regs. So, hey, you know, work at your own leisure. Good luck to you. Hopefully you make a freaking awesome UI. Let me know in the comments below what you end up making. Anyway, peace.